Greetings, this is Phil Farron. First of all, thank you so much for agreeing to be a beta reader. It is a huge, huge help. I'm doing just one demo, so if you see things coming up on one book and it's not the book you're reading, that's because this is just a demo how to get information back to me. I do send out printed copies of books to all my beta readers. And so if you just wanna mark up that book and then send it back to me, you are more than welcome to do that. However, if you're looking for some kind of an electronic way to send information back to me, the probably the best way to do that is about what I'm going to demo for you here, but I will take it any way that is convenient for you. So if you want to type up a Word file, that's fine. If you want to give it to me in an Excel spreadsheet, that's fine. However, is most convenient for you, this demo will primarily concern how it is easiest, I think, for me. <laughs> So first of all, you're going to need Adobe Reader. If you don't have Adobe Reader, it's very easy to get. You can just come to Google or anything like that and look for Adobe Reader. It's going to be the first, very first one. Currently, they're calling it Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. So just click on that link. And then when you come up here, they're going to have all kinds of little optional offers and all that kind of stuff, but you can just unclick those because you don't need those. So now you just go ahead and say install now and it'll work for a little bit. This shouldn't take too long. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Have I told you how much I appreciate my beta readers? Okay, so there we go. So it's downloaded. Now we're gonna have to click the installer. So we'll go ahead and click this. It's gonna come up and say, um, install anyway. Here's an app. Installing app from the store helps protect your PC and keep it running smoothly. You know what? Uh, I don't know about that. So let's just do it this way. We'll install anyways. It is from Adobe, so it's fine. Okay, we'll say yes. We'll install this. And so then it'll come up and it'll download the stuff. Yada, yada. While that's happening, I did leave myself a copy of this particular file over here. So we're going to go get it. If you want to do it this way, just go ahead and give me a holler. And let's see, it's over here. Go ahead and give me a holler and I will send you a copy of the interior in a PDF format. So you'll get something that'll look something like this, WF7, Interior 7. All I've done here is just taken that and I've renamed it. So while that's installing, I'm just gonna put it someplace out here where I know it is. So let's just put it out here on the desktop. This demo will be real quick once we get installed here. So this is my PDF. So if I go ahead and double click on this, it's going to open it up in Edge, but we can take a look at it here, it's fine. So anyways, uh, this is book seven of the Windfall series, Windfall Virgins, uh, and it's just the entire book and it's paginated exactly like the physical book that you would get. So what you'll wanna do when you get your copy, just go ahead and rename that. I don't know how it is on a Mac, but on a PC, I just right click here and say rename. And what I did is I just put my name on the end of it here. So after you put your name on the end of it, when you email that back to me, then I'll know who it was. Sorry about my squeaky chair. <laughs> Every time I move, my chair is squeaking here. Hopefully that's not too obnoxious. Um, anyway, so we've got our file out there. We're waiting for Adobe Acrobat D Reader DC to install because I wanted you to have an idea as to how long this would take, but it won't be very much longer. One of the advantages to this for me is if people will send me PDF files back, I can actually combine all of the different comments into one file and then I can just work off that one file to put in the comments once and then I'm good. Um, what I've done in the past when people have sent me Word documents and have sent me Excel spreadsheets and all that kind of thing, I have to go through every single one and I'm making the corrections on my Word file and then the Word file gets out of sync in terms of the pagination. And so then I have to have a little thing that says, okay, on the PDF, excuse me, on the PDF, it's 
this page number, but in the Word document, it's this this page number, and I'm expecting that to clean all of this stuff up. We're getting close. We're getting close. We have a little icon now. Yada, 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 da, 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 da. Okay, so it says finish. Now we'll go ahead and launch. So this is Adobe uh, Reader DC. Thank you for enjoying. It's also apparently putting up a word or pulling up a website so that, you know, yada, yada can give us uh and I closed the wrong one. Hold on. Let me just open this back up again now. Okay, so all of this is just simply a way to read PDFs. But in addition to that, they allow you to make comments and to highlight things. All right. So let's just see how we do that. We just go over to file and whatever the file is that I've sent you and whatever you've renamed it, we just come here to open. And then you find the file. I put mine out on my desktop. There, it's right there. And then we'll come down here and we're going to open that file. Now then, you can zoom up or down here. So let's just go down here to page, uh, page, actual size. All right, that's fine. Uh, you can scroll up or down just like your normal thing, blah, 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 blah. All the pages are here. Uh, you can see it's 490 pages. Sorry, the book went a little long. These are the two tools that you're going to want to use for this. So we'll just scroll down here a little bit. Let's go in here and let's just find something. Let's say I will gladly receive it in any form that you choose. Now, some would say, well, the word that there is not needed. So just click on the highlighting tool. Come down here. Highlight that like that. OK, now in most cases, that's going to be enough for me to figure out what's wrong. Because if I've got the wrong tense or I've got the wrong pluralization or things like that, or I'm missing a word, if you just highlight some words around it, I'll look at it and go, oh, that's probably not right. But if you want to leave me a note, then just go up to the little comment here and we'll just leave a comment and we'll say, you don't need that. So, and we'll just go ahead and post that. And then we can close it here. And so that's it. That's how you highlight things. So come down here. Want to do another one? We'll just go ahead and we will click on the highlight button. And we can come over here and you can go, okay, we'll go here. And then we can come up here and leave a comment if we feel like we need to. Okay. Weird name. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and post that on there. Then the only thing that's left is you just go ahead and save it. Say, yes, I want to save those changes. And I want to just save. Don't choose a different folder. Save in a recent folder. OK. And then <laughs> this is some of the Windows 10 stuff, but just save it. Yes, replace it. OK. The easier way to do that. Oh, it's currently working, 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 working. OK, still saving. Wow. Oh, it's a big file. So chug, chug, chug. Optimize for fast web viewing. Chug, chug. Saving file. Chug, 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 chug. Sorry about the size of the file. This book got away from me. Hey, there we go. OK, now then, if we open this back up, well, we got to get it open in. Actually, I wonder. I wonder if the comments are actually saved with it and it will show in IE. It does. So there's the comments. And what I can do, as I said before, is I can take all the files from everyone and I can combine all the comments. So if you want to get back into it, you can just open Acrobat Adobe and they're going to install an update. Okay. So anyways, um, that just gives you a really quick demo over how we do these. You first of all, just go to Google, look for Acrobat Reader. I will put a link on the page where we have this here. Uh, then just holler at me, ask me to send you a PDF. I'll do that. Rename the PDF. Just go in, comment, highlight to your heart's content, save it, send it back to me, and we're good. Thank you so much again for being beta readers. Thank you so much for all your help. I hope this is a way that it can help both you and me get these corrections in faster. 
If you don't want to send me your book, you are more than welcome to send me the book back, but this is just a way we can do this electronically. Have a great day.